I'm here with Neil Fox, who just had the karaoke form at Millen. Neil, can we take the stockings out of our ears yet? Have you finished singing? Yeah, I have finished, and it is safe to now come out and unblock the ears. But it was fun. It was, well, some it people would call it fun. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't be one fun. of those people, Neil, but it was, it was still, you know, it was nice to see someone who's not me up there embarrassing themselves. Yeah, no, exactly, yeah. That's what it was all, look, it was for Macmillan. I said, someone asked me when I do it, and I went, you know what, if they're going to give that many thousands of pounds, I'll happily go and do it, so that's fine. That's great. It's all good, and it was a laugh, you know what, it was, a, and yeah, no one died. It was brilliant, it was brilliant. Really? <laughs> I think we're only having a bit of fun, you were great, and you yeah, were such a great sport. Um, so what, what is today all about, then? What, what are we trying to raise awareness and money for? Uh, today is for... Macmillan Cancer Care, um, two million people, you know, uh, are suffering in this country at the moment and people need help. So um, Macmillan, great charity, raise money to help people with cancer or their families to try and support them as well. And uh, by me coming down here today, people could give money to www.justgiving.com forward slash Foxy Karaoke and you can give some money and then Macmillan get it. And that's what all this madness was about. But actually it was nice because it's snowing outside. It's the perfect day for it. It's the great day to sing Let It Snow, so it's fun. Now, that was a shameless plug, but I'm happy under the Thank charitable you. circumstances Thank you. to let that go. Yeah, good, because that's the only reason I've come down to sing in public today. <laughs> so do you think, uh, is, is this a cause that's close to your heart then? Is this yeah, no, look, 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 my dad died eight years ago, so uh, he would have been mortified seeing me singing up there. But, uh, but he, he suffered, for, he, he died of cancer, so, and the Macmillan people were fab and they helped look after him. So I always thought, you know, if ever I can help raise some money, they were so nice and they did such a great job. So for other people in this situation, nice to raise money. That's fantastic. And do yeah. you think there's, is there something synonymous with sort of DJs and charity? It seems to, you know, those words, charity are ringing I in know. my ears. Look, look, I tell you what. I, I have a great job, I'm in a very lucky position, I love what I do and obviously I can reach a lot of people by being on the radio every day so if I can talk about things, publicise things, you know you have to use your voice and the power that you have and obviously I think within every DJ as well as a frustrated singer that wants to get out and be on stage so it gives us a chance to get it out of our system. Well, I'll tell you something for nothing, you were uh, famously uh, a judge on a, a talent show at one stage, you've got up there and proved that you can actually sing, I'd like to see Simon. Simon High Top Cowell doing the same thing. Hey, I've seen Simon sing, and Simon can sing, he can knock out a tune, he can, but he just would say, that's not what he's good at. It's not what he's famous for, so I don't think you will ever see him sing in public, for however much money people would pay. Well, Simon is the modern day Scrooge, so I suppose he wouldn't be doing a Christmas number anyway, would he? Oh, come on, he, I tell you, he does, he does it more than his fair share for charity, Simon, I have to be honest, he really does. Although people, have, people do get a bit upset about the Christmas number one, being always an X Factor one now, but then people have to remember that you know three weeks ago they came out with a charity single for Great Ormond Street as well. So he's a very charitable guy. He just doesn't always shout about it. So who's your tip for the Christmas number one, then, Neil? Where's your money going on? Uh, oh, well, it'll be Joe. It'll be Joe McKeldry won X Factor. There's this there's this big internet battle going on at the moment to try and get um, another. Rage Against the Machine up to number one and then actually weirdly on download so far they've just beaten Joe but they had a weak head start over him so I think you'll find Joe will win. There's going to be a late, late surge from McKeldry. Uh, I'll tell you what, I think people are going to go out and buy the single. They'll go and buy it. It goes on sale tomorrow, Wednesday, and oh God, it'll sell. It's a good song and he sings it beautifully, so I think it'll do really well. Okay, so a quick word about Christmas. What's filling your stocking this year? Uh, what, God, do you know what? My wife always says I'm the hardest bloke to buy for. I, I'm more, I really genuinely am more excited about buying presents to give, so you know, I've got three little kids now, so I mean, so I'm going to do some shopping and sell just after this, so by then my, my little girl wants a lava lamp and my little boy just wants anything Lego, so I'm sure I'll end up playing with whatever my son wants. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, you could do what my dad used to do and buy me presents that he wanted and then just play with him all of Christmas yourself. Yeah, you see, there is some common sense in that and I quite like your dad's logic there. Yeah. yeah I think that's pretty good. Um, I like Lego too, you yeah. know, <laughs> so I'll play with his Lego. I mean, James May's proved that there's a big kid <laughs> yeah, in all of us. Yeah, really. there, no, there really is, actually. Well, and as I long think as you've not got the sadistic streak that my dad has by me, nice. a jumper like this. The very, and I know you dare criticise my singing, but then, <laughs> okay, Val Duna can eat this your heart out. Go on. Christmas it embodied is. in a sweatshirt. That is all, but this is going back to 1963, sort of the Val Dunican Christmas special. The same year Borrowing Buddy Holly's glasses hair. and hair, and then, and there you go. It's, Lovely. It's a clash, it's a clash. Well, uh, Neil, it's been brilliant to, uh, to meet you today. Happy Christmas. Um, yeah, it, uh, definitely, a time of uh, peace and goodwill to all men. Yes. And you've done your best to breach it today. Yeah, I did my best, I know, but you know what? 
peace will be restored very shortly. Give us some money. Thank you very much. Happy Christmas.